And um, so as far as psychedelics, now psychedelics is kind of like, you know, boom, <laughs> you're, 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 you're busting open some doors. So to, into the spirit realm. And, and, and so what are some of the things that, uh, what are some spiritual emergencies that you've seen firsthand or experienced or, um, and what are some of the things that people can do to kind of prevent it or to bring themselves back from it? Um, sorry. Yeah, right on. Question. Yeah, no, I, I, I love that you preface all that because it's, it's unfortunately, yeah, really taboo to go this deep into any of these, these uh, modalities. Um, even psychedelics, which it seems to me, it's like, it's only a matter of dose before you're, you're going way beyond your conventional yeah. uh, experience of reality that it would be obvious that if the, the, the normal rules do not apply anymore. Right. But, um, like there's personality changes, like yeah. people get acupuncture for me and there's personality changes. So mm -hmm. it's like for you to do for, so for people to take anyways, but go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to... there, there's like, there's like a, a superficial layer and then there's like these deeper layers to, I think all these disciplines. Um, and it was actually a surprise to me that, you know, talking to you about Qigong and, and acupuncture, Chinese medicine, that even in that realm of, of like Eastern uh, medicines and, and philosophy, that there's this suppression of, this this understanding of of how to work within those those higher dimensions those other realms of reality and and like even talking about it is is like mm, i don't know if we should and mm -hmm. um you know we we could go on about the reasons why you know why the system is 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 kind of uh oppressive in that way but um at least starting to have that conversation i think is is the, the way to go either way so um yeah, what I've seen with psychedelics, um, you'd only have to go to a music festival to to see the the, the potential damage that can be caused. But um, yeah, I mean, you're 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 in a state that is is not tethered to just the physical world anymore. People are operating um, beyond the veil and and in the those the spiritual dimensions and. Um, unfortunately, our culture is is not really well versed in that. You know, we our culture tends to it tends to uh, um, not be appreciative and, and, and be even abusive about the the good things in life. You know, the the we we take things that have a lot of power in them and then we use them in ways that are not so so responsible. And and psychedelics have definitely not been an exception to that. So. Um, a lot of folks are experiencing things they don't understand, especially coming from a conventional mindset of, of you know, you, you grow up, you, you, you do what you're supposed to do, get a job and, and go to work and just buy a house, have kids and, and, and that's it, you know, live, live your life pretty standard as a American consumer and, and nothing more. Maybe you go to church on Sunday, but you know, it's about as, about as deep as it goes. And, um well five grams of mushrooms later you're probably gonna be second guessing all of that um and that's 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 like good case scenario if it, you're just left questioning but uh, a lot of folks are already hypersensitive a lot of folks are already kind of like just on the edge of of, of going past the the veil and, and seeing what's beyond and you know, for some folks, it doesn't take any psychedelics. You know, I think that's exactly what schizophrenia and bipolar are, is people who have already the natural propensity to to see beyond. And um, unfortunately, I think schizophrenia uh, is pathologized because it's so stressful to live that way. You know, when you don't have an understanding of what it is you're experiencing and what it is you're seeing, all these connections that don't seem to be materially uh, verifiable um yeah you're you're gonna feel a little crazy you're gonna feel a little bit unstable and uh especially if if you have a chronic condition where you're just kind of always in that state you're going to develop all kinds of um health problems i mean that's that's an understatement and so um i think we mistakenly view these states of consciousness as innately bad 
pathological. You know, I think that's where this uh, fear of psychosis comes from. And, and honestly, like, I, I even talk about psychosis and less in a, um, like it's a disease, but more of it's just a part of, it's just part of the spectrum of our experience and, and, and really an unappreciated one too, because a lot of what can be accomplished and is accomplished in other cultures, you know, the, the shamanic disciplines, the, um, the, 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 the spiritual, uh, um, leaders and, and, um, doctors or medicine workers, you know, they, that is the realm of psychosis is where they operate. It's just that they've been able to, to hone that into a, a healthy discipline. And, um, and, and there is a way and, and they can do things that are, are very confusing to the conventional doctor. And, and, um, so yeah, yeah, there, there's a lot of folks that are taking psychedelics and, and kind of blasting that open that realm and, and some of them just get like fully unplugged and don't know how to get back to it. Uh, especially I think when you like travel somewhere, I, I get some folks, they come back from Peru or they come back from Mexico and, and, um, all of a sudden the normal stresses of life, just paying your bills, going to work, dealing with regular people becomes this really difficult ordeal and things start to get really messy and, and, um, or, or another one of, one of the common things I see is this, uh, sort of existentialism or even nihilism that can result from taking too many psychedelics. And cause like, if you're presented with all this extra information, this new, these new connections, you have a choice to make. Do I take it seriously and try to integrate, try to make it work? Or there is always that choice of just saying, forget it. It's, yep. it's meaningless. Yeah. Yeah. It's and, like meaningless. I'm out. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to just check out of this. Mm -hmm. I, I can't, I can't deal with it, you know, or, or it just is, it's so jarring that I think even sometimes people just can't even control like, like the blockages start to come on, um, you know, the, the egoic barriers and, um you start to, that's that's i think where you start to form these more nihilistic identities and and just sort of not caring and um that of course can be really harmful so um all kinds of things a spiritual emergence uh, as you mentioned um some folks get this just automatically uh but you know others it's it's like a kundalini meditation wake awakens it or or yeah even an acupuncture session um psychedelics can certainly do it. And, uh, same thing, you know, you get really ungrounded and all of a sudden your friends and family think you're weird and, and, you know, you can't go to work. It's, it's like this really tricky balance. So, um, 